And this is, this is a different, this is a part two to thank you a lot so much for t um, 17 subscribers. But this over here is the Reap What You Sow logo. But this is the Southern Homestead. These are connected because they're disconnected, you know? And this one has a carrot. I wanted to make an onion one. But like Deep South Homestead, I drew my carrot like a two-year-old. But <laughs> Deep South Homestead uses real carrots. Reap what you sow. Well, this is what reap what you sow. Gardening. For reap what you sow. Um. And, and this is um I don't know, but I have my slogan. Keep on sewing underneath of that sign. So, a part two. And I'm going to keep you guys here as I am. Um, I do this. Just to keep yourselves entertained with the toads. gonna get this battery in this sort of thing. It's gonna lie off. Thank you so much for ten I mean seventeen subs. Oh. Gucci and Toby. Backstory behind Gucci and Toby. Um, I got Gucci and Toby from my grandmother's house. She dropped them off. She dropped Toby off when I was sick. I was not feeling good at all. Um, I was sick. And then Toby brightened my day. Gucci did need a partner, so Toby Toad. Gucci, but I was the original names, but I was going to call Gucci D frog, but it was actually before Kermit. This is actually Gucci's old name, Kermit the Toad. Kermit the frog, but it's actually Kermit the Toad. Um, Gucci, as she backs away in her cave, is named Kermit the Toad. But Gucci Kermit the Toad. Toby the Toad. Right there, but and um, Calypso, Calypso, um, Tango Toad, he has passed away, and um, also before that, Lucky the Toad that I met at grand my grandmother's house, and um, Lucky the Toad was like a, he was a beautiful toad, kind of looked like Gucci and Toby, but yeah. And um, the reason why I have this potato, we had the potato uh, behind my television. Yes, T TV are the flat ones. This is a television. This is 2014 quality. That is old. No one likes that. Boo. So this thing can shit, and I want it to, so I can plant this thing, and I'm going to get a get a great bumper crop and harvest out of these potatoes. 
Now, why not do it this way? Um, um you can put them in water, but that that's that's just stupid. That's just plain well, that's just plain idiotic to have these things in water hanging in the glass and then they just rot and then flies get around there and they if there's something like an onion in water, it will rot too. It will just smell like like crap. So don't do that. Put it in the ground how God intended in how God intended this thing to grow originally. And you see it has a couple eyes on it. Eyes are little divots in a potato and imperfections. And I learned from self-sufficient me on the banana tree video. Go look up his banana videos. I'll bet you find one in the part where he says, a segment in the video where he says, me and my grandparents used to go to the markets and we got some bananas from there. And we never worried about the banana taste. They're always so good, Mark says. And never go down the road of perfection. You'll never get there. If it's too perfect, then there's obviously something wrong with it. So we never go down the road of perfection to anything. I don't care if it's a potato, a tomato, an eggplant, any fruit or vegetable. I don't care at all. I just want it to taste good, grow well, and look good. Well, not too perfect, but you can't do that. Not everything is perfect. So I hope you love this special, a part two to part one. And thank you so much for 17 subscribers. I cannot, I cannot even contain this. This is so special. Yet earlier today I had 16 subscribers. No, I have 17. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your support. And see you next time on Reap What You Sow by Faithful Fox. Reap What You Sow Gardening by Reap What You Sow by Reap Faithful Fox. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh my, that's Faithful Fox. That's Faithful Fox. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. It's for Faithful Fox and Reap What You Sow. Reap What You Sow Gardening. Thanks for watching. Keep on sewing.